Hey guys and welcome to another gold making video. In this one I'm going to be showing you another semi AFK gold farming spot to use with your monk. Now this farm is going to be extremely extremely good with the current price of the tiny crimson whelping. Now this is a pet that you can get from the mobs right here and this is where we're going to be doing it in wetlands. So the tiny crimson whelping can be sold on the auction house. I'll put up on the screen right now the actual value of this pet. So it can go from anywhere from like 50 to 70k on the NA servers, which is extremely well. And it's pretty common from here. So if you do a couple hours, you definitely should be able to get your hands on one of these. Now, another good thing about this farm is that you're going to be getting a lot of transmog items and a lot of white and grey transmog items too. And like you all obviously know by now, you can actually sell these on the auction house and you can sell them for a decent amount of gold depending on your realm and the supply and demand for them on your realm. Now, how this works is that you're going to obviously want to be a monk and you want to be this spec right here. So you want to be a brewmaster, you want to have summon white tiger statue and you also want to have summon black ox statue they're two very important moves that you're going to want for this and you also want to have this talent right here which is called rushing jade wind now all these abilities will help you be more afk with the farm so i'll show you how it actually works you want to set up your ox statue just where these mobs are meeting so anywhere around here next to the three little um the three little pipe uh, thingos for the fence right here basically where the mobs are fighting you want to set up your ox and now how you can make this more afk is that you can use this move right here the summon white tiger statue and if you read the ability it, it will put up a statue for 30 seconds pulsing damage every two seconds for 30 seconds so this will last for 30 seconds. So every minute and a half, you want to put a new one of these down. And then you, your Black Ox statue will last for 15 minutes. And then the other move that you're going to be using is Rushing Jade Wind. So once your White Tiger statue is down, then you want to start using Rushing Jade Wind every 8.3 seconds. So for an example, we'll start off with the White Tiger. So as you can see, we didn't use any moves. It is just the white tiger doing pulse damage. See how it's pulsing our damage just like that. And it's automatically killing the mobs for us. Here's the timer for this. So it's got 15 seconds left and we're fully AFK right now. We're not touching anything whatsoever. It's doing all the damage for us. Our statues bring the mobs to us and the other white tiger is doing the damage. Now, once the tiger ends, you want to start using this ability right here the rushing jade wind so this will constantly do damage for 8.3 seconds so every 8.3 seconds all you want to do is click this button once it also has a 5.5 second cooldown so you could just spam the button especially if you just want to like afk and not look at the screen you can just every 5.5 seconds you could be clicking it or you could just be clicking it like constantly and this will constantly keep doing aoe damage for you and you can basically be on a different monitor, like a different screen, or you can be on your second wear account, or you can be watching a movie, and you can still be farming gold, being semi-AFK. And you want to keep using Rushing Jade Wind until your White Tiger statue is back up. Then you can click the White Tiger statue, then you can AFK fully for 30 seconds, and then you'll go back to using your Rushing Jade Wind. So it's extremely, extremely easy farm to do. And you have a chance of getting some good transmog pieces. But the main thing that you're going to make the most amount of gold from is going to be the tiny crimson whelping. Now, if you get a few of these, I recommend posting one up on the auction house at a time for the maximum price that you can get away with selling it for on your realm. And then just sell them over time. Now, this is a great farm to do. And if you've got a monk, you don't have to be level 70. Um... You have to be level 70 if you want to set up this exact build, but you could do it with just the rushing jade wind and then also your black ox statue. So you wouldn't need all the talent points. However, if you are level 70, this is how I recommend setting it up so that you're using the white tiger statue and the black ox statue together. 
they work extremely well. So for example, the white, the white tiger statue is back up. So we can fully AFK for another 30 seconds and let it do all the work for us. You want to make sure that you're looting up. So let's loot up what we've got right here. So you're going to obviously get some raw gold or the transmog pieces and have a chance at getting your crimson whelping. So just like that, we've got a whole heap of loot, a whole heap of transmog pieces, a whole heap of plans. And over time, you will make a good amount of gold from this. This would be one of the best AFK, well, semi-AFK monk gold farms in the game at the moment. Well, it always has been. It's been a very good farm, but the price of the Tiny Crimson Whelping is very good right now. You can sell them for up to 70k gold each on the NA servers, which is really, really good. Now, if you're lucky enough to get a few of these in one hour, you could be making up to like 140k gold within the hour if you got two of them. Or if you even got one an hour, you'll be making 70k gold for pretty much just semi afk -ing. It's a very good farm to do. Now, if you'd like to learn more about making gold in World of Warcraft, my gold making guide will be the first link down below in the description box. It goes over all different methods, farming spots, techniques, how to get set up with gold making in the game. Everything you need to know about gold making you'll find inside of the guide, and that'll be the first link down below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more daily gold making content. Let's go!